Hey gang, it's Average Guy here coming at you with a review of the Fitbit Charge HR. We just did a review of the Aria scale, also made by Fitbit, and I was sitting there thinking it might be a good idea to throw this thing up on the channel as well. So I've been using this for well over six months now, and I have to say I'm pretty impressed with it. Um, it seems to be pretty durable. It does a really great job measuring heart rate, um, automatically tracking fitness, um, but uh, I question how accurate it is on the steps. And the reason I say that is because I oftentimes wake up in the morning and before I even get out of bed, I've got 200 steps or so in. So uh, unless I'm sleepwalking, which I really don't think that I am, I think it misses the mark on the step tracking, but I also think that's very common among these devices and it seems to be a regular complaint out there um, on the forums and so forth when you're researching any of these devices. I don't believe they even make the Charge HR anymore at this point. The, the, the recent iteration of it is this um, the newer model that has the OLED screen and offers you a lot more functionality just at a, at a glance on your device, and that would be the Charge 2. I did purchase a Charge 2 for my wife this year for Christmas, and I have to say that thing is beautiful. I highly recommend getting a screen protector for that one if you buy it, because the screen on my device here actually scratched when I was doing some work in the garage, and because the Charge 2 has a bigger screen, I would think it would be even more susceptible to scratching just because more of the surface area is going to be exposed to whatever that it is that you're doing. The screen is easy to read. It's got this cool feature that when you lift the device, like if it's on your arm and you lift it like you're going to look at the time, it'll automatically come on. It doesn't always come on. It's not perfect, um, but it's pretty good. You can jiggle it or tap on it if it didn't come on and, and it will come on to show you what's going on. You can also configure what it shows when you do that, and I like to see the time because this thing acts as a wristwatch. So um, it'll come up, it'll show you the time and date, and you kind of you can hit the button on the side to kind of scroll through other items that you've configured for it to show, such as the number of steps that you've taken in a day, how many stairs you've climbed, flights of stairs, your heart rate, and so forth. I want to emphasize that it does a really good job tracking your heart rate and I love how it syncs up with the app and shows you trends and graphs and things like that so I'm pretty pleased with it overall. Honestly I, I kind of have a little bit of a um, fitness, fitness wristband envy right now relative to my wife's charge too so when this thing finally craps out I you know d depending on what the latest and greatest model is versus how long this lasts um, I would definitely upgrade to get the bigger screen. I didn't need to go all the way to the Blaze. I didn't want all the features that that thing had, but I wanted a little bit more than the Alta had to offer, so this seemed like a nice middle ground. Again, it's been pretty durable. I'll show you real quick what the screen looks like um, when, it, when it comes on. So there's the time. You hit the button, it shows the heart rate, which is coming up zero. Obviously, it's not on my wrist currently. And then you hit it again and it shows you your steps for the day, right? What that translates to in mileage, how many calories I've burned, how many flights of stairs I've climbed, and so forth. Um, I want to make a note there that I don't take stairs one at a time. Um, I'm a stair runner, right? So anytime I get on the stairs, I'm skipping two steps, boom, 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 boom. So it doesn't register my stair, stair climbing very accurately. But overall, nothing is going to be perfect, and I think this thing is a great middle ground. The price was right, the functionality has been great, the durability has been excellent. I don't have any irritation on my wrist. Um, I don't like the fact that it's got a completely proprietary, unique uh, charging port and charging cable. I would have rather they would have just gone with like a mini USB um, or, or something like that, but it, it's kind of got this funky connector. Those green LEDs are the heart rate monitor, but the, the two brass prongs next to it are where the charging cable goes. I think they could have done a better job on that, like I said, but um, I, I can't complain too much, right? Nothing is ever perfect, and this thing seems to do a pretty good job as it is. So there it is. I'm going to lay it down and kill the video. If you have any questions, please let us know. As always, thank you so much for watching. We appreciate all the support, and we'll see you on the next review.